But this is just basically I'm not the only person who gets this served on the desktop, but this basically is what we get on and on and on and on. We get stuff like this on a daily basis basically with people smiling, laughing. Everywhere you turn around. There's always something victorious about the people I see on the front pages of the media. It might be different for you. You might see this from a different point of view, from a different aspect. If you don't know anything about MK Ultra, if you were not involved either way into MK Ultra, but you don't have to be a victim of MK Ultra to see this in a way. I pursue this as What you see right there is a politician that wants to be something more, actually politicians that want to be something more that was not given to them and it's consequently so many people that are dying. that every time I see these people here there is something that prompts me it is deeply not okay and I heard about British royals especially to be associated super highly with people suffering mental illness. I heard about numerous people um, without having the ability, I believe, not wrong about it, but without having a proper ability due to the degree of torture they endured to relate themselves to themselves in respect to royals in respect to hollywood i see a lot of hatred on the internet toward hollywood directed directed towards uh, royals well, undoubtedly there is a connection between the Hollywood and between the royals. And these aren't the only royals involved in this genocide against me. Maybe just as bizarre or maybe even more bizarre, I don't know which one of this is more bizarre, violent I should say, or maybe royals from Thailand. Just as bizarre or maybe even more bizarre, but truly, truly, truly bizarre actors, state actors. That's when state wants you to take seriously certain people, basically, uh, beyond, like, let's say, Thai, when it comes to Thai royals, uh, I need to accent here. Um, how Thai king, let's say, declared himself as a god. Yeah, 
Well, this is basically when a human comes as close to mental illness as one possibly can even come. Yet, it did happen. Now, the type of mental illness a little earlier I have spoken about is contrary to this, associated with a lot of homeless people, with a lot of people inside of the psychiatric hospitals, uh, and it's associated then with all sorts of mental, um, like, envy, let's say, mm, like, let's say, envy, yeah. like, let's say, associated with this, with issues like this, and it's something they had their own psychiatrists and psychologists heavily work on me on not only how to portray me, but how to portray Google itself, because Google is not depicting facts in respect to certain words, expressions, uh, Arado will be selectively pushing, depending on the needs of these people, to the top, the search results, that fit their agenda. Yeah, so if it's becoming more and more obvious about royals as per who they are, what they're all about, um, you're gonna have results um, for certain issues misinterpreting you what otherwise you should be presented with with results that Google finds uh, or let's say psychiatrists, psychologists from these people find uh, it could be misleading enough to get a certain crisis for this royal family is true. You now we'll have somebody publish certain article uh, the way he wants to. He wants to cover up basically for the royals for the time being for whatever it is. Might not even be completely wrong. Might be just partially wrong. And the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to have like a real science related or crime related forensic related articles pushed down below the articles which instead will uh, appear in case you would even do in case you would even bother to search and associate certain issues with somebody writing blog, uh, actually giving a testimony about his experience with royals, for instance. This should have happened. It did happen. Um, in a little bit, I am going to get to this more. But for me, first issue I would like to declare in respect to this video is the importance of these people who revere themselves as royals, even as gods, declare themselves even as gods. What exactly is going on with this arrogant, uh, idiotic, foolish, uh, criminal behavior that we are repeatedly thrown in the face it's every time for me personally when I see this stuff for me personally it's like a slap it's a very 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 hard slap when I see this stuff like this when I consider what these people have done to me everything about these people I have to tell you 
for me is an insult. Absolutely everything for me is an insult. No, I do not envy these people. It's exactly contrary. I supported these people. I wanted these people to be successful. I wanted these people to be seen. Yeah, the thing is that upon Slovenian independence from Greater Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia on the Balkans, I became a hostage of their politics. It's because even the weapons that supposed that were de deployed to Slovenia, Slovenia purchased wherever they did, whichever way they got those weapons through. Americans, Germans, uh, French, uh, NATO, therefore, have to allocate to Slovenia through the royal channels, through the channels of royals. British, a Canadian, Thailand also was involved and so on. Uh, rather than to function like a society that supports another society, they allocated this means there's weapons through the channels which enslaved me literally after at age four when MK Ultra started in this greater Serbian Chetnik state Yugoslavia I became a hostage to their confined criminal politic in newly established independent Slovenia I can tell that next to Slovenian politicians, next to the Udba politicians, there's like a Stasi politicians like Milan Kuchan, Pahor, this newly uh, politicians that came out of power that were involved in MK Ultra, like Petrle, like Loise Petrle, Boucher, since my age eight in Slovenia. Uh, they became so attached to what you see here, to this confined criminal politics, that the life just took for even worse turn, uh, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to independent Slovenians. So what they celebrated, the kingdoms in their countries, these people that you see right here, uh, I started to rank below the homeless individual. I became, I grew up, I obtained education, I served the military, and I immediately ranked below animal, basically. Not below human being, but below animal, because you don't even treat animal like this. And this in a newly supposedly liberated country and it's really is thanks to what you see here. This is a very very important stuff for me to declare and what is difficult for me when it comes to mental illness understand is why would you when you have all this when you have somebody that is looking forward to you treat one like this with, I'm not saying with a little respect and no respect, but with denial to the right to employment on two continents, and that included the United States of America, in more than a dozen countries where I filed for political asylum, these people would stand on my way while pushing forward uh, psychiatric institutions basically psychiatry against me oh, based on the force and employment which were, one could not be without the other basically and to this procedure they refer to us through the use of drugs as MK Ultra. I maybe even became 
inspired to do this video for you today maybe because of this picture I oh, my god how bizarre does this get this gets so so bizarre it was like a custom oh it was this custom I have seen that is just so 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 fucking bizarre man I mean, does it get more bizarre than this stuff here? I'm gonna say to this, I'm gonna answer to myself and I will say, maybe not, maybe it doesn't get, maybe it's, uh, excuse me, maybe, maybe this is not even so bizarre, you know maybe something like this would not even be bizarre if it would make sense for one thing or at least it would not cause as much harm to somebody as it did uh, with this big smiles all over the place with, uh, look, look at that head right there what that looks like and and uh, like we say in Slovenian language otprava uh, or I should say clothing the way this looks like doesn't it look insane I mean it does and that is the whole point you know because on one end the state will present the case as a real royals but for the real royals uh, one must also declare himself as a god and if he cannot declare himself as a god as the case is with so-called constitutional monarchy in greater than Great Britain and in Canada uh, in a case they have to do something atrocious basically to prove themselves in a public with smiles and with somebody protesting out there basically in his impotence ill with a cancer with all kinds of including mental issues fighting after <laughs> well only 48 years of his life was erased from one through the means I described a little earlier um, you can have what you see here that's what I'm trying to say to you you can't have what you see right there without another factor and he goes likewise for the Hollywood you need these people need something like this so they can prove their validity they can prove their uh, like authority uh, so they can prove their like um, now do you see what I see I mean this is angry this is cynic look at their faces look at look at them what they look like and how they are dressed if you would dress like this and you would walk on the street you would be probably labeled most certainly you would be labeled as insane unless you will practice something like Hare Krishna or something like that you would be labeled as a lunatic you would have a problem with stuff like this but then on the other hand uh, in most of the countries at least uh, if you would do something like this something like this or well, what you see here if you would do something like this you would be labeled as insane anywhere in the world immediately probably taken inside now if you would dress yourself like a punk like a hippie like uh, some kind of anarchist or something these people would actually appreciate because they would blend with you a little bit better because that's what they need that's what they create so they can look legitimate somewhat so they can prove the point beyond even whatever is written on my blog about these people now 
these people inadvertently are connected to a Hollywood. In uh, Hollywood, you see, in the United States of America, they don't publicly recognize royals. Even though I was surprised that in the United States of America, British royals still own a lot of property, real estate. I was quite shocked about those issues. It came to me as a surprise because that's not a monarchy. However, they do have what is known as a Hollywood. And Hollywood was a Hollywood. Hollywood always was exactly what I was describing right now. It was always the people with a special needs. And the special needs, when I say the special needs in respect to these people, you know, the handicapped people have a special needs. You know, a police has a special needs. Uh, you know, um, different professions have different needs. But for these people, the main character, uh, their special need, the most required is attention, is to obtain attention, basically. This is like the thing. Uh, it's all about getting the attention and uh, what way better than to get attention through tormenting someone and posing next to him like he is a pet, like he's a goat with a smiling face, like you, you, you get it? You know what I'm saying? In adversely connected to the Hollywood they all need what was known before as Dvorsky Norchik in Slovenian language. Dvorsky Norchik, I don't even know what that would be, but they would have this since from forever to establish their um, <laughs> how would I say <clears throat> reputation or give themselves legitimacy or give themselves uh, you know <sighs> credibility yeah they needed fools it's called like a fool you know fool You know, this kind of stuff. They needed this kind of people, needed this kind of stuff. The White House, Hollywood, British Royals, and so on. It's like, it's inadvertently connected. They can't be without having somebody on the side tormenting, torture him, and present themselves like intelligent uh creatures capable of making important uh, decisions, decisions that make, that matter, that are uh, of public interest for better. Um, the truth is, these people are nothing other than actors. They are actors just like Elon Musk. It's somebody else that's pulling the moves behind it's somebody else that is making the decisions it's called the deep state but they are using these clowns these are clowns one thing is to be a fool and um, it's just what it is but it completely another one is to be an entertaining entertainer to be a clown, to be an actor. But the difference between these people and between the people that I demonstrated you earlier does not exist. It's just the role that state gives one or the other. So, taking in consideration everything I have stated, there'll be really, really a problem 
between me and if they want to, if the British want to refer to Britain as United Kingdom and uh, well, United States of America doesn't have a kingdom and so on uh, won't be problem, won't be that problematic to address the people in question uh, but when it comes to Holland, let's say when it comes to Norway when it comes to Sweden when it comes to every monarchy around the world that was involved in this and in whose interest was a game like this a game which started for me personally in a Soviet Union because these people might actually have answer and say oh well you know uh, it's not us it's a Soviet Union you know it was a so it, it, that's exactly what it is it was a Soviet Union but it is thanks to the people I demonstrated especially since Slovenia is European Union member state I was in the United States of America, although I was the one who campaigned for one, uh, and one would become EU member state already, could be granted to one already in 97, 96 actually. Uh, Milan, Kuchan, Pahor, uh, they delayed one instead into 2004. So one would enter into European Union together with a Poland and so on uh, because it was important for this Eastern European politicians. Now these are politicians. These people are easier to step on their toes because it involves directly the possibility of corruption of all kinds of stuff they don't have that extra joker face mask uh, clown mask on them uh, these are people you would direct complaints straight uh, you would address them straight and so what it makes difficulty for people is to understand what I stated in this video what I properly have um, directed when it comes to complaints um, yeah the politicians in Eastern Europe would not go uh, they would not let them go inside of the European until 2004 uh, uh, actually they wouldn't accept them in Western Europe they wouldn't accept them until 2004 and consequently because of this it was these people who claimed that this was a solidarity for them since Slovenia they did offer the one already in 96 to get inside of the European Union I also did that for Slovenia it would, they would accept Slovenia into the European Union as early as in 96 if not even earlier but it was that the people like you see here this kind of people that were angry and about European Union and about the NATO I paid a tremendous price for insisting blatantly after Slovenia already was independent state how one should immediately enter into a NATO all that stuff is all forgotten uh, now the only thing I'm left with is basically to face the final curtain basically this kind of stuff that you see here which is actually rather used to remind me of humiliation of uh, a lot of humiliation of a lot of torture I have gone through during which they exercised humiliation torture uh, and you know are hiding this painful reminder behind their faces and that's so the people like this are inadvertently connected to psychiatric institutions because they cannot function without them I'm sure you understand that forced unemployment and psychiatric institutions are the main industry of what you see here 
So, um, let's say, as I as I stated uh, earlier, I'm going to give you an example of Google, how the Google works, and it says here uh, a liar. Uh, and what we have here is a falsifier, yeah. A romancer, a fabulist, it's a storyteller, it's a fipster. I don't know, but that's why I said a little earlier that the reality uh, through the Google, which is like a by far the main search engine, uh, is a totally, totally contrary to what real reality is. Uh, using this word liar, uh, you would come absolutely closer to the expression such as deceiver, uh, you would come closer if you would say perjurer, uh, you would come closer if uh, let's just say here let's just see here synonyms yeah, they just select this like a fashion you know like you would go to the store and you would say I like this bag from the Gucci these are these days uh, in fashion so I want this one I don't want the other one let me have this one uh, and so on and so forth. And so when the current is going to change, these people hope that I'm going to go away, somehow die away. That's what they hope for. And then maybe you would actually even get, let's see what Miriam Webster is saying. They all imply to to the liar. Pathological liar. Right now, I am watching Prince Harry, Prince William. I just watched him. I can see their faces so clearly because that's all the hell I see. Um, the pathological liar I am going to give you 
a perfect sense of reality here. The pathological liar is well described here is a person who lives in a false sense of reality. Uh, however, it says here, if confronted, they act defensive and never admit they are liars. Lastly, they hold no value to the truth. That is actually the case with the British royals, except that they were publicly not confronted. They were publicly not confronted, and so the way they defend themselves is with exactly what I demonstrated to you. Uh, not only with uh, smiles, with the provocative smiles, but with the costumes. And I really crazy, crazy outlandish costumes, I'm gonna say. Crazy, 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 bat crazy costumes. It's very easy, actually, to see through those smiles and through those costumes. Let's say somebody like a Japanese emperor, so let's say, they don't do that stuff, man. They don't dress themselves like this. They don't, they don't do that kind of stuff. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't do this kind of, you know, you, you have also normal royals. You also have normal people. Uh, and, you know, not, not everybody is a plain evil. It would be wrong for me to label every royal in this world as like, uh, like total evil, like, you know, but you can see through those costumes. Afterwards, those costumes would not exist, those crazy smiles and stuff. They would not exist. It wouldn't be something wrong with these people, you know, that you entitle yourself, that you call yourself, equal yourself with the God and so on. Mental illness is this year. You can see it. You can see it. Look at look at this stuff here. Look at this stuff here. Look at this. Look at this stuff. You tell me what are the probability? What is the probability that you would have somebody not doing the stuff I was talking about? What exactly is the probability when you consider pictures like this? What exactly, it's like a punk behavior, you know, like a punk. What exactly is the probability that I would be a pathological liar already based on what you see here? I mean, it's like a, it's like a, it's like, it's like what? Is this like a normal behavior to you? Stuff like this? This is like depicting like somebody credible, somebody that is, you know, that's actually person that is worth trust, that is trustworthy. Why? Wow, that would be because what? I mean, you know, this is to the British state. It is unprecedented arrogance that your public officials, police, which exercise Mount Everest of violence against me, that you projected, that you displayed in a case of such a amplitude as is mine, when it all started at age four in Moscow, in which actually in Slovenia, but at age six in Moscow, in which your dear British royals, as you refer to them as the royals, I do not recognize any fucking royals. There is no prince, there is no king, there is no prince. You don't fucking come in my face and call yourself a prince or something. It's just a fucking prince from Bel Air, maybe. Yes, as far as I can recognize. And we know that Hollywood are, is nothing other than organized crime, is what it is. So, I'm looking nothing more forward than to crumble you on a court of law. You know, to the British state, so for me to complete this, that you allowed yourself that a case like this of such an amplitude to forge crime. You were using a police officer that would forge also 
events, thorough beating events with different, with all types of recordings posing next to and so on. It was not so bad and it was this and that. This is just totally for the civilized, for the person of the civilized society is completely unadmissible. It's not civilized, it's not, it's not, it's not humane and I refuse to see myself as below animal. That's all I have to say in respect to this stuff. These are pathological liars. It's worse, actually, but it's not their fault. It's what the state basically assigned them. You know, it's what actually state gave these people. It's what state dedicated to these people. That's what they gave them. You know, of course, he was not the one. It was somebody else would be the best thing. You know, they live in a fable world. In a world of fables. And I'm so decided to smash that dirty smile of your face, Great Britain. Talking about to you, Great Britain. You insulted tremendously. You insulted everything that can be insulted. You tortured and you post with the laughter, with a smile, in my face, under circumstances which involve kidney, liver, cancer, spine issues, with the idea that somehow I'm just going to fade away, die, disappear. That is what actually angers me. There are actors there are no kings, there are no queens. There is no kings, there is no queens. There is no princesses. They're just scammers. They're pathological liars with a state tentacles behind them. There is always the state that's willing to catch them softly. And I think, in my personal opinion, they're not even normal. I think this is, these people are degenerated, they're mentally ill, it goes from one generation to the other, that stuff like this does harm. Societies are compelled to tolerate this kind of stuff, their mental illness right on the top of the pyramid, because this is how they're made, this is what they're made out of it. 